Am I back in Vaughn's mind, or are these really the ruins of Atlantis? Helen, my son. Dad? Is that you? Hey, how come my thing's all sepia-toned? It's good to see you again, Lord Vaughn. Bogus, you're alive! No! I'm dead! Oh. Sorry about that. Don't be! Stovacore kicks ass! You flood my world with all the colors of the Sunday funnies. The innocent splendor of kisses are tender, softer than a pillow, stuffed with bunnies. Hey, tell me, are Alan and Vaughn okay? I don't know, they must have come down somewhere else. Never mind that, check this out. More Atlantean writing? It'll take a couple of days, but I think I can translate it. I'll save you the trouble, it's the standard Atlantis myth. Power of God in the hands of man, hubris, destruction. Only difference is that in this version the Atlanteans had wings and created Gaia before they were destroyed. You can read all that? No, but if you followed the plot of the series this far, it's not too hard to fill in the gaps. How's your mother, son? She's dead, you ass. But that's impossible. We always said we'd meet again in the next world. Well, maybe she didn't go to hell with the adulterers. Hell? Is that where I've been? Well, that would explain why everyone talks so much at the movie theater. I know everything, Dad. I read your logbook. But you don't know what happened after I wrote it. I'd seen visions of a girl from the Mystic Moon appearing in a mountain valley since I was young. I thought she was my destiny. But after only one, uh, admittedly amazing night, don't let that innocent exterior fool you. That girl was a freak. Well, I knew I'd made a terrible mistake. When I turned back to begin the journey home, my path was blocked by the old man named Isaac and his Zybar cronies. With my last breath, I prayed that my logbook would somehow find its way to your mother so that she could pass it to you, my only son. Why? Well, partly because otherwise it would make no sense that you were able to give it to Dryden last episode. But mostly because I hoped that if you knew what I'd done and why, you could find it in your heart to forgive me. Can you forgive me, son? Dad? Yes? Hell no! You're a horrible person who abandoned his family to hook up with an underage girl! Just because you got your idiot self killed right after doesn't change that! Oh. Well. See you in hell, then. It's been too long. We have to find Alan and Vaughn. Please, show me where they are. Stop! Oh my god, you're- Hi, I'm Nappa, and this is Varee. She's an angel! I'm not an angel, Nappa. I'm an Atlantean. Yeah, an Atlangel. Okay, Nappa. I want you to wait in the van now. Okay, Angel Mom. I'm not your mom, Nappa. Sorry, Angel Mom. Sorry about that. I volunteer at a center for special people in the afterlife, and, well, some people are more special than others. You're Vaughn's mother! He told me, you must not use the power of your wishes. My wishes? N no, I'm just a fortune teller. Your power does not merely see into the future. It gazes into all possible futures and pulls the one you most desire into place. But then, that's a good thing, isn't it? When your heart is at peace, you pull good futures into place. But when your wishes come from fear and anxiety, negative futures come into being. So, what if I only do it when I'm in a really, really good mood? Honey, you're not even old enough to drive. You're definitely not ready to be bending reality to your will. Nuts. Is everyone having a nice chat with their dead relatives? Soon you'll be able to spend all the time together you want! Lord Vaughn, you are King of Vanalia by right of dragon slaying! Why do you cower before your enemies?! You always taught me the battle was glorious, Bogus, but killing people sucks! It makes me hurt even when I win! I hate it and I don't understand it and I want it to go away! To take the life of another is indeed a heavy burden. But a warrior does not let his pain own him! They weren't even soldiers, they were just kids until some idiot put a uniform on them. I don't know if they deserve to die, but I know I don't want to be the one who kills them. How can I do these things and still live with myself? Hear me well, Lord Vaughn. You do not fight for yourself, but for the future of your people. Take up your bloodstained sword and cut free of the bitter karma of war! That doesn't even make any sense! 
It doesn't need to! It is the way of the warrior! The way of the beefcake! Say it! Beefcake? Beefcake! 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 Cake! I'm Fawn Fennell, King of Fenalia and last scion of Atlantis! You defile this place with your presence! The dark fire shall not avail you, Flame of Udun! Flame of what now? Well, somebody's other ball dropped. You shall not pass! Happened. Did I win? You are an Atlantean. This place still has some power to protect its own, but it can't keep Zybok out forever. You must leave. Farewell, my son. Wait, what's heaven like? Imagine if the best orgasm you ever had could last forever. What's an orgasm? Oh, you poor, poor thing. Word of advice. Don't just marry the first guy who gets you off. He's probably not as great as you think. Hey, don't tell her how to live her life, and she won't tell you how to live your, uh, death.